In a disaster, in an emergency, people do what they've practiced, not what they've been told, not what they've heard on the radio, but they do what they, they've done. In Oklahoma, danger can strike without warning. When faced with perilous, life-threatening circumstances, it's essential to be ready. Anticipating the worst will help you plan for the best. So plant the seeds for preparedness and let safety take root. It all starts with a grassroots game plan. Today's game plan, disaster plans. In Oklahoma, we live in a state that faces uh, many uh, natural and, and man-made threats on a regular basis. And if there's one thing every Oklahoman needs to have to ensure uh, their own protection and protection of their family, it's a well thought out disaster plan. It's very important to consider ahead of time all of the things that you're gonna to have to deal with when a disaster hits. If you're evacuating from a simple house fire, then you meet out in front of your house. If you're evacuating from something larger than that, you wanna have a place that's outside of your neighborhood so that you can all get away safely from where the disaster is occurring and still meet up and account for everyone in your family. In the event of a snowstorm where there is a sustained power loss, people need to plan to shelter in place and it will be a little more complicated because they don't have power. I would recommend that people have a generator so that they can power their home. They also need to be able to have enough uh, clothing or blankets and things nearby to keep warm if there's no heat. We don't recommend people using their oven or stove to heat their home um, and also people need to be very careful uh, not using a generator in the house. So I think that the important thing for people to do during tornado season is to be very aware of possible weather. People need to make sure that they are prepared that day. Uh, sometimes you don't have much notice with a tornado. The safest place in a home that doesn't have a storm cellar would be the innermost room, a room with no windows on the first floor and preferably away from an outside wall. A go bag is, is really an emergency kit that you have pre-packed and available to take with you or uh, take into a, uh, a shelter with you in the event of, of a uh, severe weather occurrence. Uh, there are some basic elements to a go bag, uh, flashlights, uh, battery operated radio, uh, first aid supplies. I uh, would even recommend that you take a whistle and pack that in a go bag in the event that you may be stuck. In, in a particular situation and you can uh, signal first responders to your location. We had 16 minutes from the time the siren went off till the time my house was blown away. Um, the only thing I, I wish I had done is pack at least a change of clothes for my husband and myself. Um, it's also recommended that if you're on prescription medications that you ensure you've got a sufficient quantity of those in your go bag. In a disaster, in an emergency, people do what they've practiced, not what they've been told, not what they've heard on the radio. When danger strikes, be ready. Prepare your grassroots game plan today. A message from the Oklahoma State Department of Health.